More than 24 hours ago, the arena district went dark due to a power failure. The Blue Jackets had to push back puck drop two hours to get power back to a nationwide arena. Businesses also found themselves scrambling to get up and running. The lights come on and then all these people start coming in and it's just crazy. And with that, we thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley. It's been a much more normal day in the Arena District. We're hearing from area businesses, AEP Ohio, about what happened with yesterday's power outage. The power was out for much of Tuesday afternoon, even leading up to the CBJ game. NBC4's Eric Halperin spoke with the utility company about the situation. Now, this involved the company, Eric, really checking out multiple different locations, right? Jen, AEP Ohio says crews had to go into 10 different vaults to fix this problem. Some are underground, and tonight we're getting a look at what some of those vaults look like. The arena district and its restaurants are used to hosting fans and the energy they bring with them. But Tuesday afternoon, the area lost power. The lights were out for many until 545, just 45 minutes before the original start time of the Blue Jackets game. We understand that there, there's just never a, a good time for a power outage, whether you're a resident, a business, commercial, just never a good time for a power outage. And that, that's why we take them so serious, right? That's why it's an all hands situation. AEP Ohio operations manager Matt Bennett says the outage was caused by a piece of underground cable which failed to fix the problem. He says crews had to go into 10 different vaults, some underground. To safely work on it and to safely energize, we had to be able to disconnect from all those other sources to even be able to energize anybody down there first. Um, and then once we get everybody's power back on, then we're going to go back in there and, and uh, worry about fixing what failed. To show what vaults look like, the company shared pictures from other times crews have worked in them. If it's overhead, it's easy to, to see, right? Like it's a little bit easier to find the problem. And, and when it's underground, that, that just brings in some different challenges of us locating it, us working on it. With the outage happening hours before a game, local businesses say it affected them in a variety of ways. Some tell me it created uncertainty because they weren't sure when the power would be back. One went cash only and kept selling drinks, but lost food sales. And some say it kept the pregame crowd in longer since the game was delayed. I really enjoy the hockey fans. They're so, you know, passionate and, and everything. And, you know, I, I guess they were frustrated as, as, you know, the power outage and the game delay and everything. I mean, we pushed back two hours and stuff. So, but, you know, it was a good time. And AEP Ohio is still trying to figure out exactly what caused that underground cable to fail. The company, it says, it treats every outage with the same importance, no matter where it may be. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.